This is 100 years of the moving assembly line in 100 seconds. 1908, Henry Ford introduces the Model T. It costs $850 and takes more than 12 hours to assemble. 1913, Henry Ford installs the first assembly line at the Highland Park assembly plant. It's 150 feet long and made of rope. Man hours needed to assemble a Model T drops to three. 1914, the rope is replaced by a chain. Ford announces the $5 workday, more than doubling workers' salary. Employees can now afford to buy the cars they built. 10,000 workers apply the next day. 1916. The assembly line helps lower prices and drive demand across the country. 1918. Half of all cars on the road are Model Ts. 1927. Ford produces its 15 millionth Model T. 1942. Ford uses its assembly line to produce B-24 Liberator bombers for the United States during World War II at its Willow Run plant. It's the first use of the moving assembly line for aircraft production. 1966. The 10 millionth Ford Mustang rolls off the assembly line. The Mustang is in such high demand, it's built in three separate facilities. 1998. Ford becomes the first and only automotive company to certify its plants around the world under ISO 14001, one of the most demanding set of standards of sustainability. 2000. Ford begins the nation's largest industrial redevelopment project at the Ford Roof Center. It has one of the world's largest living roofs, over 10 acres of living plants and a habitat for wildlife. It absorbs 4 million gallons of rainwater every year. 2011. Ford begins to build gasoline-powered, hybrid, and electric vehicles on the same assembly line at its Michigan assembly plant. 2013. About 16 Ford vehicles are built every 60 seconds around the world. The average assembly line runs more than 8 miles. Some run more than 20. Ford facilities create 47% less carbon dioxide than in 2000. October 7, 2013. Ford celebrates the 100th year of the moving assembly line.